So we're going to do another one real quick. I got another Wii U gamepad from Tokyo, Japan. This one is already from Japan. And I synced it with my American Wii U. We're going to show you how to do one of these real quick. We just got uh, another one. Here's proof that this one already, if you could see it there, is synced and working. So uh, here's another one. We'll show you. I got a white one here. I'm going to try it out. Bought his junk and like... Let's see, we'll flip it around. There's nothing wrong with it. There's a couple scratches. Look at the screen. The screen's fine. So anyways, what you got to do, you got to get this uh, system recovery debug program. It's on archive.org. Then you need to go to your homebrew launcher. I don't have anything done special to my Wii U other than, uh, you know, following a guide and following the official guide and doing this. Then you want to take the uh, installer you get all the files and you got to move it into uh, I'll show you a picture I'm not a hundred percent sure but you got to move it in where your rest of your titles are then you use this program the WUP installer WUP load it up and I could show you as a demonstration it will show up here but I already installed it and then you got to go down it's hard to do this with one hand let me get the stylus out here, messing around. It's so much easier. I just select. So you'll have it right there, system config tool. You check it, then you hit install over here. Follow what it says, install, and then when I installed it, the system actually like sort of soft locked into a black screen. You just power the system down by holding the button and restart it, and then it'll be there. So we'll go ahead and close this. Boot you out a little bit, because uh, I already have the tool installed, so we'll show you where it's at. Close this out. So there's my system config tool. That's how you know you got the real deal. So we got it loaded, same thing on the pad. Uh, you go down to, what do we got? I think it's this one. Here. So this one's already fine. Let's turn this guy on. I think we gotta turn it on, hit the sinker on the back. There we go, we got the code. We got club, spade, club, diamond. Club, spade, club, diamond. Easy money. Come on, let's go. Shut down this one. Take her back out. And look at that. We're synced, boys. $13 bill from Tokyo, Japan. The only problem is, you can use one of these Japanese Wii U pads, but you gotta have an American one first to do the mods on your system and then get that system config tool. Look at that, look at that, we're done. Question is, real quick, let's get a game here and see if the sensors are good. That's my main concern. We'll load up Toad Tracker because that's a good one. If your uh, sensors are shot or something in your controller, the NFC chip, like in my original American pad is, that's why I'm starting buying these Jap Japanese ones.
the other one I did have a little bit of stick drift, but I like worked it out by blowing some air in the controller and using it in the stick, left stick. So I mean, what do you want for 15 bucks? Looks good, no errors. It's usually the error, error prompt will come up already. Let's see if we got any stick drift or anything. Looks good, so there it is, fellas.